Thank you everyone for subscribing. Uh, here's our second video. Hopefully it's a little bit better than the first one. This is quite a long drawn out video. Um, so in this video you see us get uh, Pugsley and then Pompadour and then a little bit of a heater install and a quick trip with mum uh, to London and doing our French visa. Um, thanks all for subscribing again and I hope you enjoy. And off we go. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> let's go, let's go. For sock, for him. Okay. Because after 48 hours, you can make him a, a, not a douche, but a shower. Yeah. A it's a, you know, yeah, the first right. time when I was coming in America, I said, I want a douche gel, please. I said, what? Yes, a douche? You never make a douche? No, sorry. No, you never make a douche. That's you nasty. Oh, I understand what is a douche. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Yeah, but in France, France, on peut prendre la douche. Yeah. Take a douche. Yeah. Can you douche it? And... Uh... There he is. Our first day out and he's fast asleep in 10 minutes. So Ricardo is obviously the dog whisperer, as well as the baby whisperer. He's so cute. Very content and very happy from a lovely Peter. Loving so much. This? Yeah. He's so cute. And if only he knows all the adventures we're already going to be going on. <laughs> <laughs> They're busy puppy. This book will travel. On our way home. So where are we going, Ricardo and Pugs? Where are we off? Where are we going? Going to get your brother. So that lasted the whole of how many days? Three days? Three days. <laughs> we had three days alone with the Pugs and... Oh, we also, I always thought it was better to have two and we were going to do it in six months' time. But his brother, the one he used to play with in all the um, videos we used to get sent waiting for Pugsley, is um, still available and we just think it'd be nice for them to have a little mate and yeah so two puffs and a pug will be two puffs and two pugs <laughs> <laughs> hey -ho. so it's very very exciting and Pugsley obviously doesn't know yet unless he's fully first in English already but yeah so let's it's see exciting. We've taken him to McDonald's for his lunch first. <laughs> we were going to went mad. <laughs> and then, uh, so we're off. We're about 10 minutes away. Qu'est-ce que j'ai? 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 Qu'est-ce but uh, you know when uh, you have to wait the final injection yeah for bringing him everywhere okay yeah voilà hey say hello bonjour Hi. bonjour i'm going to the restroom just for a second oh you man this brother do you see you recognize him oh, George. be careful yeah. be careful he doesn't like him. <laughs> Which one's you which can one? jump very easily, my dear. Yeah. Ça va, Henri? Yeah. Non, c'est uh, Andrew. Non. Andrew, sorry. Oh, yeah. so, I confuse with kind of Tudor lineage with the rose. <laughs> like 
for girls. So. You see? But this one is very friendly. Yes. But this one is the Nochi, huh? as I tell you. <laughs> and then there was two. Pomps is a lot more active than Pugsley. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, sir, but he's gorgeous too. So as the, they won't go in the cage, do not eat the box. The box is not a toy. No, no, no. Ricardo has to live in the cage to do the work. So again, using the same template, going through the wall. Okay, take the template off. Mind in the paperwork. paperwork. And the template. And then we've got to do the next bit, which is the those. You've got already got them in there. Oh, yeah. So it's putting those. You have to take the screw all the way out. I did bring a hammer. Oh, well done, was upgraded from yesterday. No, it's good. Just hit it with the hammer, yeah. Well, it's actually quite sensible because we can leave all the bits and tools and everything in and then make sure we've cleaned everything up before for the safety. Then again, like yesterday. So about there, yep. Yeah. We'll screw each of them in. DIY experts now. Go cool pumps! Lots of pumps! So this is the way you renovate with dogs. You go in the cage. Guard is off now with the hoover. Make sure all every little bit's up. So you don't have poorly puppies. Put the heaters in. So it's like a bit of extra hoovering with your cargo. Don, I've never seen you hoover from inside a playpen. <laughs> so now we're all, we're all 
tidy it up, it can come out of the uh, plate and move around. Been up since four. It's the Lyon Airport. On our way to London to sort the French fees out. Well, we've landed at Luton. First time ever. Here we go in the pub. Cheers, darling. What are you getting to dinner? Well, there's chef. Dirty fries. Ox cheek popcorn. And I'm having sausage and mash and a Diet Coke. The car just on the, on the uh, beer. <laughs> a very nice little castle pub, which is right opposite the uh, Double Tree Hilton. There's the hotel. Nice, very nice. Food is here. Traditional sausage and mash. And the is dirty fry. So I've smartened up and we're at Houston Station uh, waiting for Mum to come down to see us, which is exciting. Here's Annie. Oh, <laughs> look at her. Is this a VIP, is it? Is this the VIP? How was the train then? You felt sick all the way. Why? Right. But you still managed to scoff your breakfast, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I said it's not. I said, is it small? I said, that's not very small when it came. And he said, well, you managed to eat it all. Sure. Haven't you, yeah? <laughs> I said, yes, but your sausage was very small. They were, oh, being, was they, were very, they were being very rude about their appendages. Were they? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> it's pandemonium. Oh, that one's going. So we might get we might get this space. This is our man here. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Going backwards. It's right, yeah? Need the help? Okay, no, fine. Oh. Are we in, darling? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm not looking my best. <laughs> Are you not? No. <laughs> this is an improvement <laughs> on normal. So. No, it was a cheeky thing. And how are you, Ricardo? Good. Really? Hmm. Aren't you? Yes, instead of the Porsche, can we have one of these? Yeah. But who's going to drive you? It doesn't come with the man. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought we had a driver included. <laughs> you just thought this was going to be your life now, That's sitting it. in the back of here with a TV, <laughs> <laughs> like sitting at home on the sofa. Barbara's been very good. Though. Has she? Well, I rung this consultant about my leg. Yeah. He went up the wall. Absolutely fuming he was. With the doctors and everything else. Have you had a scan? No. No. He said, after I sent you to a &E with that fat leg. I was fuming. Absolutely fuming. Did you deny having the scan because you're going to Joseph's wedding? No. Yeah, I think you're going to have to wait there for it. And... No, I said, no, I said, no, no deep contact with me. Well, of course you did. Anyway. You were lying. So, he's now booked me a face-to-face -face appointment. Now, I think Lisa said something to him. Oh, has she? I think so. Well, no wonder the uh, NHS is uh, 7 billion in the wrong way with you as a patient. No, I don't, I don't play on it, do I? No. I'm not on to them every five minutes. What's stuck in your teeth that you're mm -hmm. sucking out? <laughs> Probably a bit of breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> bit of that bacon. Oh, God. Or herbal sausage. But it's cooked fresh. It was absolutely beautiful, I must admit. But they cook it on the train. They have a chef. Oh, that's lovely. Mm, it's not pre-packed. And served to your table? Served to your table. 
I mean, a small little cabin. I had the two seater right by the door. Oh, that's good. So, Barbara got me on and got the case on. And, and then she got to she, get off. Yeah. She said, I better get off in case it goes. Oh, well, that's good. And then that fella came on and got, well, he got me off, yeah. Oh, and marvellous. And was drowned in the beep, beep, beep thing. Marvellous. Well, we can get your trolley and fortnight with Mason. What do I need? Oh, a trolley Just to, to lean on. Okay. We have coffee downstairs first, if you want. Yes, please. I need some, I've got to have a cappuccino, just a bit of milk to suck in the stomach. And a bit of crisps or something. Get you a packet of crisps or something. For the salt, I'm salt. Not salt. Or sugar. Well, Mum, I think it would, one packet of crisps would be okay. Mm. <sighs> salt and peanuts or something. So was it awful, you know, from the airport? Terrible. Was it? Well, you're not doing that again? Well, no, we're going in the car tomorrow. Do you have to go to the airport? To pick up the car, to drive home. So you just get a car from the hotel? Yeah. We'll go and do our meeting. You can have breakfast oh, in yes, bed. Oh, Barbara said, I said, no, I'm sure it's today's meeting. No, tomorrow, 8.30. Oh. And then you can have, I'll get you breakfast to, to your room if you want. Yeah, just have a light breakfast. They can bring it to your room, whatever you like. Okay. And you watch your tally, have your breakfast whilst we're at our okay. meeting. What time's your meeting? 8.30. <gasps> no, I always, like, always get the first appointment because then you're not waiting if people are slow. Oh. I could have gone at 11, but I don't want to go at 11 when everyone's sitting there waiting, waiting for lunch. How far of, is it from your hotel? Like five minutes. How is it? Yeah. Well, it's not so bad. No, we'll be okay. Okay, darling. How's Nailed it going? bloody lift. <laughs> We've been on every floor and not got off yet. <laughs> you managed to fill a trolley, though. I know, but we've not got off the bullet left. Is this the right floor? This is the right floor. Teas, coffees. Picking the jasmine tea. Is, um... Green tea good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope they're not made. They look like rabbit droppings. You're okay, oh. smell it. Yes, smell. Are we having it? It's not good, yeah. Okay. Maybe you can just do the black tea with the jasmine. It's a bit more delicate. Is it? That's a probably the better. Huh? Do you think green for that? This one? Well, green is supposed to be good for you. So less caffeine and it's a decent it's got the word now, but it's meant to be better trimming black tea. Mum's doing her shopping. What? Ready to get shipped home. How was Fortnum Mason, Mummy? Well, it was very good, very expensive. But very good. Let's the pudding the Pudding is in the eating. Is it? So I'll be able to tell you one of the Or is it the proofs in the pudding? The proofs in the pudding of the eating. I'll be, I'll be eating. able to tell you when I've eaten it. Will you? Have a little look at the windows. Look at the side written on the Uber. That is a fab restaurant. Under the most amazing most forever. And it's Mother Ricardo. We're here, fi we're here finally. So all we do is drink and eat. I've noticed that's all we do. We're at the beautiful game bird. I thought you had a bullet. Yeah, what, what have you seen me eat today? I've seen a piece of cheese on toast. A piece, a, a, a sliver. sliver. <laughs> a sliver of cheese on toast. Very exciting. <laughs> we can't have deserves a medal sometimes, I fear. No special thing. Which one do you want? It's fine. Oyster Rockefeller. Are you going to get yours, Mum? Are you going to get your Oyster Rockefeller? Well, you have it out of the shell. You've got a little fork that came with it. And you've got a good squeeze of lemon. But you've just said you like the cooked ones. Well, you pick it up with the fork and eat it all at once. Oh, 
Just do it, man. Got, oh, you're on the you film. Quite right. Sorry. <laughs> 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 but why did you say you you can eat these ones? I've got oysters. You can eat the cooked ones. You know what I was thinking it was? Scallops. Yeah. <laughs> no scallops. <laughs> okay, darling. Well, you have to do the taste test. What? I think we're probably meant to eat the cooked one with the fork. Yeah. Just remind me that scallops are not oysters. Shrimp. Mm. I really thought it was scallops. Good. Mm. So we're sharing the starters, Mum and Ricardo. That is a, a, a gourmet fish finger, and that is a little crab tartlet. Crab tartlet? Crab. No. A crab tartlet. Yeah. Get it on the floor. The crab tartlet is phenomenal. This one. Yes, sir. Thank you. Just in case. Would you bed some? Long time since you had a bed on. Oh, thank you. Any sauce? Any condiments with chips? No, thank you. Thank you. I think you're having a. You wait. The time I saw you with the bed on was. Um, you record. 36 years ago. Now, do I press the red? Oh, it's recording. Yes, it says 45. Yes. Go on. Has it woofed all over? Ready? Oh, red. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You start, Mum. That's your apple. Oh. What's she's famous for? Well, I guess so. You look thrilled. It's marshmallow and apple. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hello. How was the show? Who's having the crap success? For men. For men. They are sharing. You don't have any. Like, he didn't learn I might have a taste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Order you with the recipe, I guess you know it already. No? Not like that. We just been having flour. How are you doing? Oh no, this is good, it's traditional. We do first of all sugar, we're gonna caramelize a little bit, then we add the butter obviously. Once everything gets melted all together, we're gonna add a little bit of fresh squeezed oranges, a little bit of fresh squeezed lemon juice, and then we stir it a little bit. Again, uh, to melt all the ingredients together because once you add the liquid and the sugar and the, and the butter, they are caramel ice, yes. they go a shock, a thermic shock that you get crystallized. Therefore, we need a few seconds more, as I'm doing now, to let everything you know get nice and mixed up together. Then is the moment for some candied orange peel together with this lovely syrup. And just a few segment, segments of 
fresh orange. Again, one more time, a little stir. This is beautifully done. Sorry? This is beautifully done. Yeah, it is. delicious. We've got one of those little camping stoves. Yeah. We'll get you a job from. <laughs> get you a trolley. Pardon? Get you a trolley. Now is the time of the Grand Manier. Which, as you said, is an orange liqueur. Mm -hmm. sugary components yeah. and in order to balance the dish you need mm -hmm. a nice level a nice level of acidity yeah. so that's why we add a, a half lemon juice freshly squeezed Thank you. Here we are, Mum. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you doing, Ricardo? I'm very full. We're off to the hotel now with a fab driver. Yes. All the stuff's in the back. Very fast. Who? Me. Hey, oh. <laughs> Get my mat. We've arrived. 100 Queensgate. Probably one of my favourite hotels because we looked after so well. Oh, off she's getting. Thank you. Off to the rooms. It's the fab reception. Restaurant. And they have a little kind of garden room. My mum's off. Off to her room. Sing the sewing machine. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, they Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Someone got a key. Come in. We couldn't get it down quick enough. Where are we now? Well, Five. we need to be on four. Can I have your room key? So I can finish. 
film the room quickly, and then we can see you. Hello. Hello. Sorry. No, it's okay. Okay. Come on. So you can see them from each room. You're a bit buggered. It's just a walk. down to the bar. And they do light snacks and things here and this is in the basement. But it's very pretty. Just got up to the room and got this fabulous little gift. Oh. Little note. I'm just going to open the note. Good um. <laughs> morning. Fabulous. 